as we scroll down here, I won't do example two, I'll leave that for you. As we scroll down here, we look at example three. So as we notice, the equation is already in the form quadratic equaling zero, so that's good. But unlike the previous example, the left side isn't yet factored. So the quadratic first must be factored, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to assume that you know how to factor, so if you need to brush up on your factoring, please do. So we're going to factor this trinomial by understanding that we first try a GCF, that doesn't work, it's not a difference of squares, the next one we go to is it's a trinomial. So we know that if it does factor, it'll factor with one binomial times another. So we're going to try A times A, that gives us the first term. 7 times 5 are two factors of 35 that add up to 12, so that looks good. So we have A plus 5 multiplied by A plus 7 equaling 0, and then we proceed from uh, like we did in the last example where we have two factors equaling 0, we set each factor equal to 0. We're going to solve for each, we're going to solve for the A in each of these equations. So we solve for A in this first equation by subtracting 5 from both sides, getting the A, getting the variable by itself. We have A equals negative 5.